Good day everyone, my name is Kirtan. Today I am going to give a reflective presentation on the pricing simulation activity performed for universal rental cars. Before we go into the simulation and its results, let's just take a quick overview of the company and the task at hand. The current issues faced by the URC are stockers during demand peaks, unsold inventory during demand valleys and price war with the competitors. As, the, as a district manager for URC, we are supposed to manage the pricing and capacity across two cities Orlando and Miami over a period of 14 months and while we do that we have to keep in mind parameters such as weekday and weekend sales and business and leisure, leisure customer segments. During the simulation the whole strategy was based on a few primary objectives which are improving profits and revenues, increasing market share against our only competitor and maximizing capacity utilization. The actions taken for this are increasing, pr increasing price in a high demand market reducing price to trigger demand and market share in low demand markets, increasing fleet capacity to meet demand in high performing markets. This is how the simulation results looked like. We had a cumulative profit of around $17.1 million. We had a final market share of 50.8% and an overall capacity utilization of 80%. These results are based on certain pricing strategies. Based on different markets, we went with different pricing strategies. Firstly, let's look at the Miami weekend market. As of July, when we started the pricing simulation, Miami had a fleet size of 14.2K, whereas the daily orders were only 6.36K, which was only 45% of the capacity utilization. So clearly, the demand is way less than supply. This means resources are underutilized and profitability is affected. If we looked at the pricing, we stand at $36 and the competitor stands at $33 and he is making more sales at that price. There are no major points of differentiation to be noted here, hence we went with a competitor-based pricing strategy and matched the competitor's price. As a result, from July to March, we saw an 18% increase in daily orders and we outperformed the competitor with significantly more sales as we kept our price just a dollar shy of our competitor. However, in the later stages of our simulation, our overall capacity utilization and daily orders dropped by 7% and 14% respectively. There was no major difference that was observed between our target segments purchase patterns. However, our numbers were better than our competitor. Now moving on to Miami weekdays, we saw that demand exceeded capacity, which indicates that we are missing out on the business opportunity and our existing resources are under great pressure. Our pricing was similar to that of the competitor and we were beating our competitor on sales at this price. Hence, we are not looking at a competitor based pricing strategy. The direction here was to increase the price and fleet size. However, as we have seen that the fleet is highly underutilized during the weekends, we only went for the price rise using a value-based pricing strategy with the perceived benefits such as quality of service as the value. This strategy worked out pretty well as our capacity utilization was consistently in excess of 90% and the unfulfilled orders were greatly reduced. We observed that we had more business consumers than leisure consumers and the price rise did not affect the demand because the price elasticity for a business consumer is low. Overall, we saw an increase in market share and profits. We consciously did not increase the fleet size even though we had great demand after increasing prices during weekdays because we wanted to reduce our inventory cost during weekends which had only 50% utilization. Now moving on to Orlando's week weekday market. The demand was close to maximum capacity. The computer pricing and performance was similar. We wanted to increase fleet size and reduce the price to increase demand. So we went with a value-based pricing strategy with low price as value for customers. During the first three months, we, inc we increased the fleet size by 3000 and reduced uh, the price by $2.50, which did not show desired results. So to compensate, we went for a slight increase in price in the next month and followed it up with continuous price reduction to improve sales. So during the first three months, we saw a decrease in utilization, but after that, we saw an increase. After the first three months, we kept increasing uh, the fleet size and reducing the price. But this did not result in a huge difference in orders per day. The highest order received overall was 21.2K on a single day, which was less than the initial capacity of 21.7K. We observed that the competitor was selling at a lesser price, but that did not take away a major chunk of the market share from us. This goes to show that the price elasticity in this market was less and the URC customers were not price sensitive. 
When we look at the Orlando weekend market, it looks similar to the weekday market with demand meeting capacity and not much difference with the competitor. Hence, we went with a similar value based pricing strategy with low price as the value. Results show that increasing fleet size helped the weekend market even though it did not for the weekday market and the capacity utilization was always on the high. However, overall we lost profit margins on the Orlando market because of the reduction of pricing and an increase in inventory costs. In reflection, capacity management is an area where we should have performed better. If you look at the Miami weekday market over, over the 14 month period, we had roughly 100k unfulfilled orders. That is a great business opportunity lost. Our fear was underutilized weekends contributing to higher inventory costs. However, over 14 months, we will have only 112 weekends and the business generated from the 300 odd weekdays at a premium price would have easily compensated for the inventory costs and increased overall profits. Secondly, we have seen that the Orlando market was not price sensitive and price elasticity was low. The consumers were happy with the perceived value from URC at a higher price. With increasing fleet size, if we could have maintained the initial price, we might have generated more margins on the sales. That's it from me. Thank you.